We have going on include workshops, seminars. Saturday we have a small business matters conference, which yours truly will be moderating a panel, and I'm looking forward to that. So let's um, let's talk to Nancy and see how things are going with the conference. Good evening, everyone. This is Natasha Saunders coming to you live from Hip Hop Real Estate. I'm standing here with our president, Nancy Russo, and I would love for her to share with you out there some of the upcoming events here in Boston today. Thank you, Natasha, and thank you so much for being such an active member of our chapter. Hello, Boston. Welcome to those who are not from here, who have just arrived. I want to share with those that are that you can participate in if you decide to participate in the National Urban League Conference taking place this week. A lot of the official events take place starting tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Uh, first off, know Boston that there are uh, exhibit halls that you can per that you can come out to and see all the different companies. Friday and Saturday at the BCEC, that's the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center. There is also a college fair for teens that will take place on Saturday, also at the big, big New England Farewell Bash that will take place on Saturday night from 11 to 1 a.m. And that event is open to the community. We're expecting about 2,000 people. We're going to feed you. We're going to give you beverages. And we're going to ask that you come out and party all of our family members of the National Urban League back to wherever they came from. Um, we're really excited to include the community um, that are here in Boston to know that we are also going to do a volunteer day of service. And that's going to take place on Friday morning. And what's really great about this is that this particular conference, the members of this illustrious organization are going to go out into the community in Roxbury, in the South End, in Jamaica Plain, and they're going to do community service. Imagine approximately 1,000 to 1,500 members of the National Urban League going out to converge upon Roxbury, South End, and Mission Hill and, and organizations that don't ordinarily get assistance to do work, you know, to get their places improved and beautified and cleaned up and so forth. So this is a great opportunity for um, the National Urban League to make some care by the National Urban League. And, and you know, that's just a snapshot of everything that's going on um, that is open to the public. We have a series of plenary sessions and workshops and so forth that will also be taking place. Uh, there are a couple of other events like the Youth Summit that will be open to the community. Please, please, please look out for the different um, advertisements via um, channels like Channel 5, Channel 7, Channel 25. Thank you so much, President Russo. Once again, this is Natasha signing off for Hip Hop Real Estate, and we are looking forward to seeing you out this Good evening, week. everyone. This is Natasha coming to you from Hip Hop Real Estate, and we have the amazing counselor, Yancey of Boston, Massachusetts, joining the, the Seaport Hotel, and I thought we would say a hello and see if he has any greetings he would like to share to you all. Well, first of all, Natasha, uh, thank you for this opportunity to say a, a few words about the National Urban League. My name is Charles Yancey and I have the honor and privilege of representing the people of Boston on the Boston City Council. Boston is a very diverse city. It is that the majority population of the city of Boston in 2011, actually for the last 11 years at least, has been majority. It's very important that we recognize that we're not second class citizens in Boston are in this world and that's why I'm so excited to to see Boston hosting the National Urban League in 1976 and yes I did attend Great. the convention Great. in 1976 but Boston has evolved it's grown it's much more cosmopolitan than it was back then but most importantly Boston whether you know or not has a history and I don't have to tell you that today the only sitting African-American governor of the 50 states happened to be where? In Massachusetts. Right here in Boston. Right here. Right here. So we are honored and privileged. The same streets that the conventioners are walking on are the streets which were walked by Frederick Douglass, by, of course, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And, and Coretta Scott. In fact, there was a secretary from the 12th Baptist Church, my home church. I want to just wrap up now by saying, yes, Boston's a very historic city. 
we have many of the same challenges of other major cities. The difference is that we have the will and the resources to turn it around. So thank you very much and thank you for energizing our great city with your presence. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hip Hop Real Estate is doing a great job inspiring many of our young people. And they understand that it takes work and more work to be successful. And even though I'm celebrating 28 years on the Boston City Council, 9 and 81, but like hip hop, real estate, I did not give up. So I want each of you to persevere, work hard, have a vision, and you will achieve it. Hip hop real estate is here to stay. As you heard earlier from our president, our councilman, we have some great things taking place right here in Boston at the National Urban League Conference dynamic workshops, panelists, presentations. We even have Black Enterprise Magazine here to moderate a panel for us this Saturday, which is free. So you do not want to miss out on the wonderful opportunity to meet people and to network. Stay tuned. Keep it on lock. HipHopRealEstate.com.tv. Follow us on Twitter. You do not want to miss out.